Coming Sunday is Palm Sunday. We will enter into the Holy Week and experience the Paschal mystery of Jesus Christ. During the Holy Week, we will live the passion, death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. I remember my childhood days, Holy Week experience with my parents. My parents accompanied me to the parish church to participate in all the activities and celebrations of the Holy Week. I used to ask many questions to my parents with regard to every celebration of the Holy Week. Why do we have palms distributed on Sunday? Why does the priest wash the feet of some people during the Mass? Why do we drink some bitter juice on Good Friday? And why do we go to the church on Easter Sunday at 3 o'clock in the morning? They gave me simple answers and told me that we could find some scripture passages in connection with every celebration of the Holy Week. I remember those days of being together in family and celebrating the life of Jesus. The Word of God is fundamental for every liturgical celebration. The Word of God is life-giving. The entire Christ Christian life is based on the Word of God. In the scripture, we find answers for all our life-related questions. Those who keep the Word of God experience greater miracles in their lives. Blessed are they who have kept the Word with a generous heart and yield a harvest through perseverance. From the first reading of today, we hear how the friends of Daniel kept the Word of God and experienced God's miracle in their lives. They were thrown into the hot furnace when they did not worship the God of King Nebuchadnezzar. They believed in the God of Abraham and they praised his name. Their perseverance is a great example for us to understand God's unending assistance in our life. As we sing in the responsorial psalm, we could repeat Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever, and blessed is your holy and glorious name. Praiseworthy and exalted above all for all ages. In today's gospel passage, Jesus invites the people around him to remain in his word. If you remain in my word, you will truly, you will truly be my disciples and you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. Before entering into his passion, death and resurrection, Jesus invited them once again to believe in him and acknowledge that he came from God. His mission was to accomplish the will of his Father in heaven. Jesus himself was the Word. In Jesus, the Word of God came down on earth. Every day, let us gather in our families to read a passage from the Bible and meditate upon the Word of God. Let us truly experience that Word of God gives life for our families. Amen.